there are some easy ways for companies to go green. But what about the manufacturing industry, where livelihood depends on longevity? Our focus is on uh, making those products last longer, allowing those uh, uh, operators to go further. That's the president of the Condex Corporation, Keith Johnson. Our impact on the land speaks to our dedication to making uh, sure that farmers can continue to farm. Their biggest product? Cutting parts used to harvest crops. Our goal is to leave this place better than we found it. To do this, Condex has their own environmental team to keep things in check. Our goal uh, is to have at least three significant uh, opportunities for improvement implemented every year. The Condex facility sets environmental goals for each part of their processing, showcasing not only they can produce a product for their buyers, but one that can be made utilizing energy already there. We do have some chilling systems to cool our processes and uh, they're closed loop to uh, minimize that heat related outputs as much as we can. And a big one is the steel they organize and recycle. Nothing goes to waste. They've even added more machines to their line and because of their saving efforts, haven't seen an exponential increase in the energy usage. While the cost of helping the environment starts at a higher price initially, the benefits and savings down the road can make a big impact later. They hold themselves to one of the highest standards, taking part in audits and partnerships with environmental agencies. Over the next three years, Condex is working on a building expansion, new processes and equipment, and targeting three continuous improvement projects. All of these will feature environmental best practices and efficiency. We control our impact and we continue to get better. Reporting in Lamira, meteorologist Lindsay Slater, WISN 12 News. Contact says its green initiatives have generated more than $50,000 in savings each year from energy, waste reductions, and recycling. And over the past 11 years, this has amounted to close to $600,000.